All right, guys, so we're going to be doing a little live trading here today. See if we can capture some nice moves. And what I'm just doing pre-market, I'm going over, um, you know, the contracts that I want to trade. They're right here. A lot of calls, a lot of calls on the list here. A put just in case I want to trade the top back to the bottom. And then when we hit the bottom, we go to the top with a call. So we're going to be watching some of these. I'm going to load up here on the right side since we are obviously holding this, this gap up. I'm going to, I'm going to load up the 458s. So we're going to load the 458s up. Now they expire and these are going to be gapping up a lot today because the market gapped up a lot. So they're going to open, they're going to open up pretty high. So when they open, you know, we'll find out where it opens at. They expire tomorrow. So we could give these a little more room to breathe. Going to be watching our key levels that we post every day over in our Discord community for our paid members that can see that. Just taking a look here at four, five, eighty-nine. Man, we gapped up a lot. 455.89. Stay right here. This double top here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a horizontal line right there. If we do pull back, that might be a pullback area with a stop just below where we closed, which is not far under that. But I, I want to just, you know, dial back some of these, some of these levels that I'm seeing here pre-market. There we go. We got the open pulling back as expected. Whenever you gap up a lot like this. And let's see what these are trading at. See, look at how much they gapped up all the way up there. So if you're holding overnight, 28 cents, you got a big winner on your hands. But you never know when the market's going to gap up, obviously. I like the pullback. We'll look for a dip by possibility. See if it just takes off like this and we break through pre-market highs. But I feel like I'm not getting a good price. I 
I just don't know at, at this point if there's really that much to capture on a scalp higher this at this early in the game. I would have liked to see more of a pullback. So I could have gotten in on these that are trading at 93 cents, a little bit less. So let's see what it does here. I didn't want to jump on it too quickly. Looks like it's just taken off. There you go. Just hit the pre-market high. Now, the reason why this chart looks like this is like I said, it's gapping way up. So these are calls that since we gapped up so much in the morning, they are now way up. Just not in love with the amount that this trade potentially could give me at this point. That's why I haven't taken anything yet. So even if we get a rip up to, you know, through 457.50, you know, where where is that going to go that's gonna really be worth, you know, putting my money on the line right now? So far, we kind of double top here with this sort of pre-market high here. Maybe we could get in for a quick scalp long. Let's see if it holds up. Remember, when we gap up this much, you're looking at a spy that's already up $1.70 on the day, which is not, you know, it does look like it's going to hold. So I'm going to get in here. Let's just go three contracts. Let's go. Oof, just missed it. See if we could get it on the pullback. I didn't give myself enough. All right, here we go. Very nice, very nice. A little upset that I missed that first entrance. But it is what it is. Scalping. All right, very nice. 
took one contract off. And by the way, this is what you can do um, as many times as you want, really. You know, you could just keep scalping as you go. Once this trades over, you can take another trade. You can trade as much as you want. And I like the Webull platform for that reason. The contracts are so cheap to trade. Looks like a little bit of a grinder higher today. This market has been really red hot. See how we got that push through in this line here? I don't know why they make the default so dark. That's where I got in right here for the break. So we'll see how high this goes or if it wants to come back down. Setting up a little bull flag here on the one minute. going to be the first touch off VWAP right there. Nice bounce there off VWAP. Very nice bounce. There comes the buying. I just don't like the fact that I chased this a little too much. I did, I chased it. What are you gonna do? There's no perfect trader out there. I'm putting an order out to sell another contract at 115. That's going to be pretty much this area here that we're going to see a little resistance at possibly. See if we could get a push up into the price. I like to put my limit order out when I have multiple contracts. And, you know, I could always work around that order that I already have out. So I don't have to worry about it. Just put targets out. We're about to get filled there. Very nice as we continue to make new highs very nice trade so far listen not going to change my life but it's just good to see this type of action in the market and you can always take more um contracts if you want i only took three not trying to make a living off of this one trade here just managing risk, that's all. So now what we have is we have one contract remaining and I just wanna capture some more out of this trade. I wanna squeeze more out of it. So that's what I'm doing here. Just squeezing it. Not going to be in this trade for very long. Let's see if we could just break to another high here. The market is up over $2 now on the SPY. Solid moving. We're in still one 
contract at seeing some selling up here, which is totally normal. That's why I didn't like chasing this. When you're gapping up so much on the day, it's just, um, you know, how much more room is there? So you want to get a better entrance. I did not get a good entrance, unfortunately, but It is what it is. And it hits that VWAP and just bounces off it. Approaching 9.45 AM. I don't like the nine EMA here on this. The only one I really use when I'm doing this is VWAP. And you can tell why. All right, so if we get the new high, I'm gonna be looking to get out. I'm gonna put my target here. at 18. See if we could get a push up into that. I may need to change that if we don't see a new high made. Just consider getting out for a small get some nice push ups. And if we do hit that level, maybe we get up to the 118. And that's why I put it out there in advance. That was a pretty big amount of selling there, 30 cents. Still extremely bullish. There's people taking profits at all time highs. That's expected. It's tough to grind higher when you're at all time highs. There's gonna be people that wanna sell. So there's gonna be some of that selling pressure. Might have to get out of this last contract for a loss. Forgot to cancel. 
cancel that order. Oh, nice. Pushed out, back down. Definitely seeing some churn up here. Not what we like to see. I mean, still so much. We're up so much on the day. I don't mind holding this a little longer. Pop through there. That was weird, that candlestick just moved. Look at how it's just playing right above VWAP. I don't like that, that it's not going. It keeps having trouble at this 50 level. Punch through there, come on. Some conviction. There you go, pulls right back. This is why I always lock up profit when I have it. Took two contracts off at profit, and now I'm sitting down a little bit, whereas I would be down a lot if I didn't. And by a lot, I'm talking $5. It keeps dropping and reclaiming VWAP. We're in such a bullish market right now. It's making me want to keep holding this last contract. Do, do I think four? 5780 can be touched again. That's the question that you got to be asking yourself if you want to stay in this one trade that I'm in, or if I want to look for other opportunities. Because if it can't, and if it can't pretty soon, I'm going to start losing beta on this. So I want to see this break this level here. Man, 
man, this is just so laggy. There we go. If it can't break through there, unfortunately, I'm going to have to take a break even trade on this or a small loss. See how it gets up to there and it has so much where it struggles. I don't know if I like this setup right here too much. I want to see this break. If it breaks under VWAP, unfortunately, I'm going to have to cut it. There we go. And it just goes right up to there and then gets sucked right back down. Look at that. Rejections. This is just stalling out too much for me. It may go to the moon. But kind of have to make a decision here. Look at that thing just, see when it does this, it just goes to show that it's kind of exhausted up here at this level. I saw somebody on Discord write that Tesla's keeping this, keeping the spy up. I'm seeing a battle here. Such a small amount of risk on the table right now. But I do want to see this go. Remember, if we weren't already gapping up so much, I would be sitting in this no problem thinking we were going to get to 457, 80, 458, 459. But since we're gapping up already so much on the day, there's obviously going to be some churning up here. A nice push. There we go. That's a nice push. Very nice. A 
Oof. As I was typing it, look at that rejection. Ugh. Gross. Gross. It was looking good for about a minute. So what you see here with all these lines, this is technical analysis, this is called. If you're just watching for the first time here. This is a level here as I'm trading is what I'm seeing we've bounced at each time. So, you know, basically where we are now. So if we can't do this and we break that, you know, I got to cut the trade here for a break even. It's unfortunate because the trade was looking good. We got all the way up to a dollar 19 per contract. But now to me, it's looking like this can definitely pull back. So we may have to take the L. Just rejections. Look at that, huge. Now I'm gonna to try to get out of this on a push back up. if I could get out there. All right, at least I was able to get out there. I don't like the way that this is looking right now. It's still very bullish. But this right here, a lot of this chop, this is just a lot of consolidation around all time highs. So, and it just goes right back up. But as we saw here, the same thing happened. We got a good push up and then a pull back. And there it goes without me. So I was faked out here a bit. You know, when you're trading one minute charts, you gotta be very quick. And, you know, I wasn't very quick on this one. Get that rejection. 70 all the way back down. And it's just choppy stuff trading up here. I waited at least I got out when it sucked back. But how much higher can it go? I don't know. Will we hit 458, 459? Possibly. Was this a good trade that I took here? No, I wouldn't say so at all because I lost money on the trade. So we, let's see, the first, uh, actually it was probably, yeah, it's a loss. Definitely a loss because I got in I got in too high. I got in too high on this. And then, um, let's see.
basically a break even trade. Just lost nine dollars. You know, what did I say before I took this trade? I said, where, how much potential does it have? And, you know, sometimes you just need to know when to not trade. And I probably shouldn't have traded right here. There's just too much, too much chop right here at all time highs. We're gapping up big on the day. So maybe you can learn something from my small loss here and how, um, you know, how I traded it. So I kind of wanted more of a pullback. I thought we would get more of a pullback because we were gapping up so much. We got some buying right out of the gate and that's where it got me. I ended up chasing it a little bit into a market that was already gapping up a little bit too much. So, you know, this, this right here is just something that shouldn't even be traded. Look for other opportunities. That's, that's what, you know, if you can get anything out of this video, you don't always have to trade. And right here, since we were gapping up so much, if you're not on swing trades, how much more was there to go? We may go to 460 today, but you know, when you're trading just in the morning hours, was it going to give you anything here? I tried to get the best out of it. I took some profit on the first two contracts, and I usually like to let the last contract go and see if I could get more out of the trade. Squeeze as much as possible. It did give me a little more. And then you saw once it broke down and broke through our levels, I ended up stopping out for a loss on that last contract, unfortunately. But this is why you know you like to take profit along the way. Pay yourself on the first couple contracts. That way, when you do let the third one go, because you want to get more out of the trade, if it does come back against you, the loss won't be as bad. So anyway, that's where I'm going to end it here. A small little red day. Um, we lost $9. Not going to change our life. Not a very good trade. I did chase. My entry wasn't great, but I didn't want to jump in too early and then see the market pull back like we saw um, yesterday or the day before. And um, yeah, it was yesterday, I believe, or Friday, one of those days. We saw the market pull back, the dip by. Yeah, I think it was yesterday, actually. So that's it, guys. And, you know, this could go all the way and I could have wished I just held that last contract, but you have to minimize your risk and trade accordingly. I can't hold the last contract for a big loss and then just hope that the market comes back and breaks through to, you know, new highs for the day, which, you know, probably is going to happen. We're in such a bullish market, but, I had to cut that last one for a loss and that's it. So guys, please hit the thumbs up for the live trading. Not my best trading by far, but it is what it is. You see what I'm in and what I'm doing here. And that was it. We traded a lot of chop, but as I'm talking, we are going up further without me and I'll look for more opportunities now. So. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you back on the next one. Take care.